Hey, what's going on you guys? Synth here and I'm bringing you another figure review and this time I'm bringing you DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys Steppenwolf from Justice League. Zack Snyder's Justice League to be correct. My bad. Zack Snyder's Justice League 2021. My god, I know I did already a McFarlane Toys review and all that stuff uh, last week. But this got restocked on Amazon and I had to pre-order it. I had to reorder it again because complications blah 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 and i just had to get them oh my god i love looking at this this guy is huge this is probably the oddest mcfallen toys i've gotten well that's not true my bat cycle one was pretty odd but the biggest oh my goodness well, let's bust them out and see what we got shall we and here we go the mighty stefan wolf oh my god what in the hell I have him on the stand, surprisingly, that came with it, because uh, he's not standing up too well. For one, I didn't realize his feet looked like this. Homeboy, how I'm noticing how Zack Snyder did it, he was going with the, the cross, like, he was doing an actual resident of Apocalypse. Where he's like, even his hands, when I noticed in the movie, I was like, they're so weird looking. I'm like, what is this homeboy supposed to be? He's supposed to be one of the uh, parademons and all that stuff because they are like bug creature sort of shit. So I'm like, was he going with that? It's a little weird, but interesting. Huh. But he is a very strange motherfucker. Oh, man. Oof. Jesus. The detail in this. There's a little bit of horns like Benton, I guess, because of the packaging and all that stuff. Ah, and he's... And, of course, like most figures that have been in the packaging for too long, or because of something, they... The joints are a little tight, so I have to water it in hot water just to make sure the joints all move and everything. But uh, I'll do it another bit. But as you can see right now, let's go into the detail. The Zach... Yeah, McFarlane really got into all the detail of Stefan Waltz's armor. My god. Oof, all the detail into it is like really well done. And I love this version. This version is so badass, dude. It's so much better than Josh Whedon's bullshit. Oof. Damn, dude. This guy looks menacing and vicious. I love the character, especially how Zack Knight definitely wanted to bring the character to life. And, like, I, I immediately love the character so much more. Hmm. Detail to the face is really well done. Oof. Paint job's a little, hmm. But if I was looking at one of uh, custom ones, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. But here's a picture of, like, their custom artwork. Uh, like paint job for the figure and all that stuff. I'll put a link down below to their Instagram and slash maybe YouTube channel as well. So you guys can definitely check it out if you have the figure or not. But, oof, I definitely want to do it how they did it. It's so much better. Hmm. Let's check out the articulation, shall we? 360 degrees at the head. Oh, damn. Um. Ugh. Jesus, you can hear it right there too. Good 90, 360 degrees at the arm, shoulder. Ooh, 360s at the bicep. Good 90 at the arm, not bad. It's got a nice going thing going right here, good 90. I wonder if I can... Okay, I can do a 360 degrees, but it's just so tight. Okay, here we go. Good 306 degrees at the hand. Damn, I really need to, like, warm this up. 306 degrees at the upper torso. Mm, good. Uh, swivel motion. 306 degrees at the waist. Nice. Leg. Good 90. Good 90 at the knee. And uh, 45 at the foot. And the toes. Uh, toe, toe. Good 90. We yeah. Look at that. And they're both articulated too, the toes. So that's actually pretty cool. Really well done. I thought I broke it for a second. Jesus. Let's uh, look at the accessories he came with. Of course, 
Steppenwolf wouldn't be much from the movie if he didn't have his infamous axe. And the detail to this is just a, as amazing as his armor. Oh, dude, how they customized the weapon on this was so well done. So well done. It really brought out the details and like the deadliness of out of it. I thought a little bit of black wash would bring it out, but nah, 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 nah. How they did it was really well done. For like a quick second, I was like thinking of Transformers. I don't know why. And of course, you all know the basic, the stands. It's nothing too crazy. It's just a printed with the DC logo, one peg, the peg holes, and then uh, yeah, that's about it. And of course, they also come with uh, exclusive trading cards, which I don't know how that works. Here it is. Steppenwolf, an actual image of him from the movie, Justice League, and on the back, the data file source, uh, Justice League Director's Cut, film 2021, an eight foot tall warrior from the nightmare world of Apocalypse, Steppenwolf is general of the Ap Apocalyptian army with hand, hand strength, agility, and endurance, Steppenwolf is a master with any weapon but prefers to wield his Electro Axe to crush his opponents. Wow, weird. They usually put, like, height and, like, all that stuff. Hmm. Weird. And that's really about it. So, uh, let's check out the box he came in, shall we? And here is the box, which is, what the hell, the biggest thing I've gotten. Oh my goodness, next to the Dark Side figure that's going to be coming soon. Mm. But, but it's still the basic thing for McFarlane Toys, uh... DC Multiverse box, blue background with new and old comics right there, ages 12 and up, black and white, DC Multiverse, this is new right here though, Stephen Wolf, Stephen Wolf, Stephen Wolf Justice League, and on the back, oof, Jesus, you really get to see the picture now, uh, Source Justice League, uh, Director's Film, and then right there, collect them all, uh, you got... Aquaman, Batman, Cyborg, The Flash, Black Suited Superman, and Darkseid. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Find everything on McFarlane Toys. 22 mark points of articulation. And that's, uh, yeah. Usually at my videos I do a brief history of the character and where they came from all that stuff. I did read right there, but this is Zack Snyder's version of Steppenwolf. Steppenwolf is a little more different in the comics which i will leave to variant comics to explain that uh here and now so i'll leave it to them a uh, link down below to their channel in the video all right here we go one thing you will notice about steppenwolf is that his history isn't too elaborate what i mean is he hasn't made nearly as many appearances as some other villains steppenwolf was created by jack kirby and first appeared in new gods issue 7 in february of 1972. his name is actually german and translates to wolf of the step or coyote so, the more you know, but let's dive into his origin. Steppenwolf is one of the new gods, whose sister Hegra became the ruler of Apocalypse. She then quickly promoted him to become the post commander of their army. During Hegra's time as ruler, her son Darkseid, yes Steppenwolf is Darkseid's uncle, Darkseid suggested to his mom that they should invade New Genesis. For those of you who don't know, New Genesis is a paradise-like planet that is home to the good gods of Fourth World, and Fourth World is a universe of eternal conflict between gods of good and evil. So as you might have assumed already, that makes Apocalypse the evil hellish version of New Genesis. In a future episode though, I will elaborate on the new gods, so look out for that. Anyway, Steppenwolf went to New Genesis with his army and Darkseid, where he would attack their leader, the Highfather. But when Highfather's wife tried to step in and help her husband, Steppenwolf accidentally killed her, which led to an all-out war between the two planets. Darkseid then gave Steppenwolf command of the Dog Cavalry to fight New Genesis, but Steppenwolf was killed by the Highfather. Revenge is sweet. Shortly after, Darkseid poisoned his own mother and killed her to become the new ruler of Apocalypse. He did this because, on top of his own evil ambition to become ruler, his mother had his wife Suli killed. They're a real loving family. Anyway, after Darkseid took the throne, Steppenwolf was resurrected by an invention Desaad created, and Darkseid made him military leader of Apocalypse. And the rest is history. Thank you, Variant Comics, for that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and all that stuff. If you didn't, thanks for checking out. But if you did, please hit that human like button. Leave a comment down below what you thought. And if you want to see more videos like this or anything else on my channel, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell when new videos come out. And I'll be catching you guys next time. Peace.
uh, hashtag uh, the Snyderverse. Restore the Snyderverse. Yeah, 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 yeah.